whose sleaziest side emerges. Peep shows, strip joints and shelves piled high with pornographic magazines light up alongside the wine bars and trendy restaurants. Now Westminster Council is demanding a clampdown. It's sponsoring a private bill through Parliament, giving the authority powers to shut down unlicensed sex shops for good. Licensing manager Norman Coombe regularly closes and strips shops of their contents, but within hours the same people are back in business. There's the peep shows and the sex shops. The peep shows, um, they're quite dangerous places for the people who work in them and the people who go there. They're um, quite dirty, quite disgusting and uh, I would say uh, dangerous to anyone who wants to go inside them. The uh, sex bud shops, I think, uh, intimidate the residents. They don't want to walk past these, they don't want to meet the clients who, who go in them every day. It was the uncontrolled spread of sex shops in the 1980s that led the council to introduce a licensing system. But at £20,000 a time, most owners are refusing to comply. There are six, uh, in Soho, there are six licensed sex shops. There are also some shops that don't actually require a license, such as Ann Summers. This is Green's Court. Uh, down there is a live bed show. The legislation makes it quite clear what is a sex shop. It's the percentage of what's known as sex articles sold from a shop. A shop like Ann Summers sells a lot of other things that aren't actually sex articles as defined, such as lingerie videos, uh, which are non-sex and that type of thing. Are people frightened? Yeah, as I say, people do feel intimidated when they have to walk past these premises. I feel intimidated. So uh, I imagine a member of the public is uh, even worse. As I've said though, the City Council isn't aiming at uh, prohibition. It just wants to regulate the activities in Soho and make it a better place for the tourists and the residents. Why would something like this offend? Well, it's the location. If you uh, walk up the street, you'll find that it's right next to a primary school. And the parents and the children have to walk past it every day. The headmaster constantly complains to the city of Westminster. We try and take action, but at the moment, it's only partially effective, as I've already said. What we need is a power to make sure we can close.